Raga, we there, said Martin. Later on, a fire. Fire. All right, there. Thank you so much for coming by, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. All the ground are done. 200, the white one. The white one is peanut. No water. Peanut, oats, Guinness. Not Guinness, um, salt. Give me the chance. I love this. <laughs> Super this cool. Nice. <laughs> Raga, we there. Said Martin. Later on, a fire. Fire. Raga, the bladder. That's right. White one is peanut, no water, peanut, oats, Guinness, not Guinness, um, salt. Give me the chance. Yo, nobody could get moving from. <laughs> nobody could get moving from. Yeah. You ladies you need any? I had sorrel, the sorrel good. The sorrel good for clean. Mango, no water. I want mine. to buy me a thing. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try a mango? It's a tamarind, it's a mango. Ah, uh, sorry. Mango good, no water. Mm. Tamarind, tamarind, you might have to add water. Rasa, you want anything? I got water. Okay, okay. But I'm going to get a sale still. Okay, okay. You got cane juice? Cane juice finish. I only have mango, tamarind, sorry. Alright, give me a peanut. I hear you mention a peanut. A peanut? Mm -hmm. The peanut ran out. Yeah, ladies, thanks. Easy. So don't worry, I said. All right. All right. Let's up, up, up. Let's up. Yeah. See you, Papa. I love that. All right. Have a nice day. Let's up. 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 Let's up.
Yeah, I live in Belgium. Yeah, but I was the one who moved to Belgium. I'm only being six now, sure now. But at that time, I did not know what is your name. Yeah, the last time before the video went to Germany was my concert. Was my concert. Tell me, the Latin King of Sweden. Yeah, man. Australia Okay. Yeah, it's 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 Yeah, if me and them we stand there, then soon don't believe it. The blue wall is nice. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah.
Like Matuks, yeah, because it's only like Samatha, we could only get like a certain amount. I of was searching brands. for the best pepper sauce, I bring it back home. I didn't think that um, it's just a thing that I do. It's cool, I got I'm gonna try that, yeah, man. Jamaica is at like third, but we love pepper in Jamaica. Yeah, no, love, love, love pepper, love pepper. But I, I've never, and in Suriname, love pepper too. I'm gonna tell you, Europeans do not like. Spicy. <laughs> they don't really like spicy. I have searched everywhere in Europe and the only thing, the hottest pepper sauce I may ever really see on the shelf, and it's not even from Europe, it's Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce is not originally from Europe. Old school Tabasco sauce. Yes. You understand? They have different flavor now, but the old school Tabasco sauce is the hottest um, hot pepper sauce I ever had. And in Europe and as I say Tabasco sauce is from a place from a, from Mexico named Tabasco that's okay. where Tabasco sauce is from that's where it originated from yeah in Mexico hey Sasha yeah you, you know um, Tempo Tempo has like a hot Caribbean thing they, they, they does now like yeah. with artists you know about yeah it. you should try to get on it 
Sasha, you know about that? Um, well, I didn't know that they had a Caribbean thing. No, I mean, I know of Tempo from long ago, but they have not been doing much with the Caribbean. Is that a new program now that they have? Yeah man, a new program named Hot One where they, they actually took it from the American version. Oh, okay. Where they get artists, you know, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You test them various peppers and things. Oh. Oh. I know, South America. Them love pepper stuff. And there's some hot pepper over them. You know, the brown scotch money. Yeah, yeah, brown one, yeah, it's the, the hottest one. It's the love cut in the pepper. Yeah, yeah the broad one and the best one. It's have a different flavor, you know, Sasha. Yeah, man, those hot, they eat it. And them taste. sell them more, um, yeah, if you go and buy uh, um, peppers in Jamaica, is and you're buying a bunch of peppers, it's only one of that them are getting. They're mm, not getting three yeah, or four or five because that one's special. Yeah, and it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't bear a lot. So you will find one tree out of all your peppers and that's the only one that turned brown and it's the most spicy. The flavor is really good. It's not just only hot, it has a flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, I'm eating that too. Do you know that in certain culture, if you're served food, right? If you're having dinner with a group of people, in certain culture, when you're served food, if you put ketchup on it, them find them call it a disrespect. You're disrespecting the the the, um, the, the, the cook, the host. Why? Because it's called ketchup. That means it, it, the food is missing something and you're catching it up. <laughs> so, so they see it as an insult. Okay, okay. Just like if you add salt to it, or uh, you know that um, ground pepper. Yeah. Or if you add our pepper sauce to it. If you add any pepper, if you add anything to the food, it's like you're saying the food is short. Something. Yeah. Mean, something I get you, yeah. Yeah, them kind of think it's an embarrassment. Wow. And see it. There's another thing I do. Everywhere I'm going, you read up on the place, know which animals to stay away from, which is indigenous to that country. If I, like I'm going to South America, let's say I'm going to Brazil, I'm going to go to Sao Paulo. And I am going to do a show in the outskirts. I would love to know if I'm just leave the hotel and just go like a, a meter into the woods i would like to know what i would encounter in, the, in that woods in spiders snakes what to look out for you understand as well as how to greet an individual in their country in their native language because i think it's one of the best form of flattery and it's important to be hospitable and greet them in their native tongue so yeah. You understand? Um, it's a weird. Respect. Yes, it's, it's, it's respect is a sign of respect. And you care to learn about other people's culture? Of course. Yeah, I'm very interested in language and culture. You understand? There's a certain handshake that they consider as an insult to a certain way. It's an it's yes, you have to know. And as an artist, I am. I consider myself um, a person who is pushing roots and culture and togetherness and love wherever I go with my music, right? So it's good to know how to greet individuals. If I'm, if I'm performing in a Muslim country, I think I'm going on stage, I'm going to say Salaam Alaikum. Alaikum you know, Salaam. And greet them, greet the, the native in, in their tongue and how they greet each other. You, you, it's a sign of respect, as I said, and them open up to you more. Yeah, because they, they, they would look at you as you embrace the of culture course, and you're course. willing to learn. Of course, of course. Yeah. No arrogance. You know yeah. what I mean? Just love. Just love and trying to learn and trying to know more. Yeah. I kind of like that too, you know. Wherever I go, I want to learn about people's place. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm the food. You know, yeah, I'm a foodie. <laughs> that, ah, food connoisseur. <laughs> I'm a foodie boy, yeah. The different flavors, you know. You know, Mac Wings is one of my favorite food flavors, you know. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Him, him, one time, he did go by Ross Kitchen TV. Ross Mako, I know. Yeah, yeah, you yeah know. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Sample the cuisine, eh? Yeah, man. <laughs> I can cook for you, man. Ah, or, or when me have anything on my head bothering me, when I cook, I forget about everything. It relaxes me. I love it. Love to cook. <laughs> it's a vibe thing. It's a vibe thing for me. I make a, a bomb idol soup too, boy. Idol soup. Yeah, man. My thing, that thing. So, when you cook in Raga, it's getting interesting now. Bongo pea soup. <laughs> <laughs> I cook some sometimes when I cook. I cook for two days. Yeah, and the school off. Yeah, man, and, and heat it up. My style, like. Some days I just eat fruits, water, that's it. Yeah, 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 man. Just ease off for the food. Yeah, I like eat food all the time. Yes. And we can't eat early either. System. Yeah, man, you have to balance your system. Some people, all right. It's it's in it in certain countries like the state. Treating a certain amount of abundance. People tend to eat because the food is available and not eat when you're hungry. You're supposed to eat when you're hungry. hungry. You know, just see the food and just eat, 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 eat. Because your system needs needs time to process what you already eat this morning. And you keep packing more food on top of food. It's not good for your body. When you think the Bible mentioned fasting, fasting is a good thing. Fast and you can meditate, connect with the Father more yourself. Food, food in the system. Why you think them always say, wait 15 minutes, wait 20 minutes, wait half an hour before going into the water when you when you eat? And you ever heard that? So when when I, you're I, swimming, I, I, I when, when you're going on the beach, like you're about to swim, if you go eat and then go into the water, it's kind of uncomfortable. Okay. I can eat a decent plate of food before going on stage. I'm going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, you know, we feel too heavy. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. 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 An empty stomach is the best way for me to go from. So, we're here, you're watching DYTV, and we holding up vibes with Junior Kelly here in Oyster Pond, Sunshine City. Junior Kelly, welcome. How are you feeling? Thanks. thanks for having me. I'm feeling great. DYTV. Bye. <laughs> All right, so you here, what's going on with the music? What you have cooking in the kitchen? Oh, there's a whole lot of recipes. Right now, I'm not really focusing on doing an album because I have four brand new singles coming out. 